What's up guys, Scott Martin here, hanging out on Gunnersville Lake with the Wider Fish Crew. You know, we're here really showcasing the new Garmin products. They've got so many cool things right now coming out in the market. I've got some of the new units on my boat. You know, I've been with Garmin for 13 years, and now that we have the down view and the side view capabilities, uh, it's limitless, limitless on what we can do. They have basically new maps and new technology and new sonar technology, and I want to talk a little bit about that because this isn't just your everyday sonar. Uh, number one, you've heard the word chirp. Garmin's kind of developed that chirp technology, the leaders in the chirp technology. Garmin is known for saltwater units in the past. They, they own the saltwater market, and they developed this chirp technology for the big offshore boats and the big tournament anglers in the ocean. And, uh, and they have incorporated that and brought it over to the freshwater side. But, but it, I want to explain what chirp is. Basically, chirp is, you know, a transducer, any graph you have works off a certain uh, kilohertz of frequency. And uh, some, some kilohertz frequencies, depending on where you're at, sometimes starts getting a little interference depending on what's around you or whatever's going on. But what chirp does is it basically throws a range of frequencies out in and around that target frequency. So for example, we're at chirp 455 kilohertz right now on our down view and our side view. But it's not only just sending out a 455, it's sending it out from say 400 up to 500. So it's basically shooting an infinite range of frequencies. So it's starting at 400 all the way to 500, 400 all the way to 500. So it's just in a millisecond, it's scanning all of those frequencies and then taking, gathering all that data and, and painting the picture, which then gives you a much cleaner, more accurate return. Some of the other competition out there, from what I've heard, they don't really quite do it that same way. Garmin's kind of exclusive with the way they're doing it. And so some of the other companies might be doing things like where they might do a, maybe a 430, a 455, and a 480. So there's a bing, 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 instead of a brrr, brrr, you know, it's just kind of covering all of it. And it really and truly draws the best picture I've ever seen. Technology now with the sonars that Garmin's bringing forth is just the best, the best I've ever seen. I, I, I feel like we're leading the way right now. So I'm just excited about using the product. I'm excited about fishermen getting out there and seeing the differences of what Garmin's doing right now. It's really cool. Uh, the other thing is the power of these transducers. Some of the competition out there has different ways they configure their transducers, but Garmin really took advantage of some of the some of the loopholes that some of these other uh, companies have kind of forgot about or maybe not paid attention to. In a nutshell, the Garmin transducer has a, a left transducer, a right transducer, and a bottom sending transducer. So that sends and receives the information, which is a much powerful signal uh, than anything else out there. So as I'm shooting a right signal, it's shooting full strength to the right, full strength to the left, and full strength down, which again, when you scale your units out to 100 feet, 150 feet, 200 feet, you're not losing any of your sensitivity way out far. So I can really scan farther, it's gonna draw a better picture and it's a more powerful transducer. Now let's move over to the maps. One of the things that Garmin has done over the last couple of years is they've spent a lot of time going out on these lakes, we're at Gunnersville, and surveying these lakes on their own. So they're getting the most up-to-date lake maps on the, on, the, on the market right now. They all have one-foot contours, they have shading capabilities, 3D capabilities, all the different things that you would need to be successful in the water, the Garmin maps allow you to do that. So they have a wide range of lakes that they have surveyed, and uh, it's just great. You know, again, fishing tournaments, it's all about the little advantages that you can get. And with Garmin, I feel like I have a tremendous advantage now because number one, we have great side view, down view, but chirp technology and the maps, that's gonna be key for me. So uh, as I approach the tour this year, we go to little Kentucky Lake and Pickwick, I'm really gonna be a force to be reckoned with out there on these ledges because it allows me to see what's going on and that's, that's really, really good. And here's the other thing, Garmin stuff, Power of Simple, that's your tagline, and it's just really true. I've been with them for 13 years. The menu settings are easy. It's easy to get through everything. So if you're new to this type of stuff, you can turn it on, you can get through the menu settings really easily, and you'll understand your units. Some of those units, man, you almost have to go to school to figure out how to run them. These, you turn it on, click a few buttons, you're up and running. Check us out at wiredtofish.com.